The process in making these topiaries is actually kind of a long one. Um, it's been over two years in the making. Uh, we start with a concept where we work with our exhibition design and implementation team. We as a group decide that we want to do a topiary show. And then we start to decide or question how do we do that? What goes into that process? So the idea of sourcing the topiary forms or really understanding how do you make a topiary because it was something relatively new for this generation of the conservatory. So we selected plant material that's new and unusual. Uh, we added faces and characteristics to the topiaries that maybe you wouldn't see at other botanical gardens and we really started with this question of what should it be and then how can it be better. The most rewarding thing about working on the topiaries is really honestly seeing them go from concept to the actual forms. So there's nothing that can prepare you for seeing a full-size giraffe made out of a Lismachia type ground cover grass. We can do drawings and we can do renderings and we can do the, the, the math to figure out how many plants we need, but until you see that plant grow and take shape and take form, um, there's nothing to describe it. So it's really very rewarding. There's also a lot of challenges. You're forcing plants to do something that they're really not made to do necessarily. You know, a plant doesn't want to look like a gorilla or doesn't necessarily want to look like an elephant. So you're really pushing it and pushing what it can do. So sometimes you have plant failures or you have plant setbacks. Um, being in Ohio, the temperature can also impact it. You know, this show opens at the beginning of the summer or late spring. So we had to grow a lot of this stuff in the cold season when it really doesn't want to grow that much. Uh, so we had a lot of that internally, but thankfully we have an amazing horticulture team that was able to make that happen. I hope that visitors, when they experience these topiaries, walk away with a really kind of whimsical experience uh, that they sort of see an otherworldly opportunity. The great thing about the conservatory is that you can travel around the world and never leave the city. Uh, and we're adding just an additional benefit to that, is not only can you take a stroll through the rainforest, but then you can encounter a gorilla while you're in there. And it really helps to add this amazing imaginary component um, that I think goes beyond just children and families, but reaches people of all ages. The theme of the bones I show this year is wabi-sabi, which is a Japanese aesthetic that really centers around the idea of imperfection and impermanence in nature. And it's actually a theme that's very strong in Japanese bonsai training. The other additional exciting thing about this year's bonsai show is that the conservatory was recently able to acquire eight new tropical bonsai works that have been meticulously studied and formed over the last 40 years by master bonsai artist and friend of the conservatory, Jose Cuerto. And it really sort of helps to elevate our already, already stellar bonsai collection to completely new heights. So our visitors, if they've seen the bonsai show before, they're now able to see these exciting masterworks that they've never seen before. They've never been displayed as a whole in a public setting. And now that we have them in our collection, we're really able to share them with the entire community. Throughout an exhibition year, the conservatory offers about four to five exhibitions. This is a great space to offer a variety of different works. Sometimes they connect back to overarching exhibitions that might be offered, or any other experiences that could be on display throughout the conservatory. This is a perfect space for the artists to have an intimate, kind of smaller location for them to display their works that doesn't get hosed down with water, isn't exposed to sunlight, so it's a great space for them. The current exhibition that's on display right now is I wanted to tie it in to what was happening with the overarching shows that are on display. So we've got topiaries, bonsai, and I wanted to kind of think about a show that connects back to that somehow. The first thing that came to my mind is photography. That is something that is manipulating the natural world, taking what you see and visualizing it and changing it and manipulating it. So I reached out to the chair of the photography department from CCAD and came up with this idea to let CCAD photography artists both students, alumni, and faculty come in and spend a year in the conservatory photographing our spaces and the plant life and all the different experiences that can be offered. They produced a body of work that's all new work and is displayed here in the gallery.